Welcome to Mishmas. It is day one of Mishmas. Happy December. I am so excited <laughs> to be starting Mishmas. Such a wonderful time of the year. Uh, I Wow. Where do I even begin? Okay, first, uh, let's talk about this coffee that I'm drinking. So I'm drinking the Holiday Blend from Olympia Coffee, and they're from Olympia, Washington. So each of these little pockets from this bean box advent calendar, of which there's 12 days, by the way. So all of my advent calendars have 25 days, except for my coffee. My coffee has 12 days. Anyway, this is a lush blend of African coffees, and it tastes like maple syrup, pine, orange zest, and shortbread. Now, I'm not generally the biggest fan of African beans. They're very uh, tangy. There's like a sour taste afterwards. They're usually pretty light, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna give this a shot. I've got my Christmas bear mug, as you guys saw. Oh, it's hot. Hold on. Let me give it a moment. Anyway, while that's cooling down, let's talk about today. Let's talk about Mishmas in general. So if this is your first time here, welcome. Welcome to the craziness of Mishmas. So I'll be posting a video every single day uh, between now and December 25th. This is my fifth year doing this. Can you believe? I can't believe it. I was like, I don't know, maybe this is my third year or something. And I looked back and I was like, oh, I think the first time I did this was in 2019. So that would have been the first year, 2020, 2021, 2022, and now this year, fifth year. I can't believe it. And I don't think I've had a year, I'm probably jinxing myself right now, but I don't think I've had a year where I've missed a day. So, Let's hope, let's hope and pray because many things can go wrong, but we're gonna, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. And you know, this concept started as Vlogmas a gazillion years ago, um, like the OG YouTubers, they would post a video every day in December or you know, December 1st through the 25th, they post a video every day and they would call it Vlogmas and they just daily vlogged every single day. They'd vlog, post it, vlog, post it. And then, you know, it got to be a bigger thing. Everyone was kind of doing their own take on Vlogmas. And I remember the first year that I did this in 2019, I wasn't like, a I, I don't think at that point I had ever vlogged or maybe I had done one or two, but that just wasn't my thing. All my videos were sit down videos. I think as the years progressed, I started to do more of a mixture and as you guys know, I've been vlogging a bit more uh, this past year. I just really enjoy it. Um, I enjoy vlogging. I enjoy editing vlogs. I feel like it gives me like a deeper connection to you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need my coffee. Hold on. Let's see if this is cool yet. Oh, wow. Okay. Maple syrup. Absolutely. I don't taste any pine or shortbread. <laughs> this, by the way, the roast level is medium and cozy. Uh, which is so cute. It is definitely lighter and a little bit more on like the tart side. So, I, you know, I like my coffee. It's just really rich and smooth. I don't like that sour taste, but yeah, this one has a really interesting maple syrup flavor. So interesting. I feel like talking about these coffees, I'm talking about like a perfume or a candle or something like the different notes or whatever that I'm picking up that you may not pick up. So interesting. Anyway, that's today's holiday blend. All right. This is nice. This is a nice change from the coffee that I usually drink, which I've been drinking the Starbucks Sumatra, which is really, really nice, very smooth, but really dark and just tastes like coffee, <laughs> just straight up coffee. Um, this, yeah, has a little bit more kind of going on. All right. Um, anyway, back to Mishmas. So a nice mixture of sit down and vlogs. And I don't know, maybe this year there'll be more vlogging because I have been doing it so much and I do enjoy it. And um, they're fun. I think they're fun. They're a little bit different. Um, but I will have some like sit down videos because there are some videos that I want to make that doesn't make sense to vlog. Like I always do my like yearly roundup or my absolute all time favorite um, videos and those will definitely be sit down. So anyway, we'll be kind of out and about and doing a lot of different things this particular Mishmas because I have some friends coming. Uh, I have two sets of friends coming basically. And so we'll be going out to eat and going out and about on the town. So we'll be doing a little bit of that. And what else is happening? I'm not going anywhere. Thank God. I'm not traveling. <laughs> 
at all, uh, which I'm happy about. And I think that's it. We're just going to be poking around, poking around and hanging out. And I'm, I'm so looking forward to this. I'm so, so excited uh, to be hanging out with you guys this month. It's just, it's cozy season. It's cozy season. Speaking of cozy season, I have my Eber J holiday jammies on. I showed these to you guys in one of my videos where I got these and I got three pairs of holiday jammies so that I can uh, switch them up. I'll probably do like, I don't know, what's 25 days? So like eight days of each jammy. Um, but these are the red ones with the skiers and the pine trees and the snowmen. I don't know if you can see them all. Anyway, it's freezing, so I have my little robe on. So, sorry, let me finish talking about Mishmas. So, we'll be doing a smattering of that. We'll be having some giveaways, and then that's it. We'll just sort of see what transpires, uh, what happens. Um, as you guys know, one of the traditions of Mishmas. Now, did I do this in my first Mishmas? I'll have to look it up. I'm not sure. But one of the traditions is to open up advent calendars. So we'll be doing that at the start of every single Mishmas video. I've got the Joe Malone and the Diptyque. Those two, I feel like, have become staples in Mishmas. They're definitely, uh, at least so far, they're my favorites. Um, you guys saw me open up the Space NK one. Okay, that one is definitely a favorite of mine as well, and that sells out so quickly. So again, we have to be on it next year, guys. We have to be on that Space NK advent calendar next year. But I also have De Corte, which is a Japanese beauty brand. They have exquisite products, skincare and makeup. I have the YSL Beauty. Uh, looking forward to that because uh, I'm pretty familiar with their makeup, but I'm not that familiar with their skincare or even their fragrances. So that'll be interesting. And as I understand it, that advent calendar has a nice mixture of things. And then finally, we'll be opening up the Sicily advent calendar, which I'm really excited about because this is Sicily's very first advent calendar. So I'm excited. Sicily is one of my favorite uh, skincare brands. So, and hair care brands, I should say, because they have an amazing hair ritual line. So good. Uh, so we'll be doing that at the beginning of every Mishmas video, opening up those advent calendars, and then we'll see where the day takes us. So today we're going to be putting up my Christmas tree. It's going to go into, I'm looking over there because it's going to go into my family room next to the TV in the corner where it went last year. And this is the tree that I got last year. So when we first moved into this house, I had a tree from our um, townhouse that we lived in. And I was like, oh, this will be fine. It's just, we just have such high ceilings. That tree was not, it looked silly. It looks silly. So I got a taller tree. The tree that we have is a 10 foot tree and it's from Balsam Hill. So it's one of those that has wheels. It's so great. So I just wheel it on in I'm gonna flip it up, and then there's two pieces that go on top. It's pre-lit. It just couldn't get any easier. So we'll be doing that today, and then I just have to put the ornaments on there. I'm gonna use the same ornaments that I used last year, because I like them. And that's it. I have a pretty minimal looking tree. I don't have a lot of fluff or garland. I tried some garland last year. Do you guys remember that? I had like a feather garland. Because I like the ideas of uh, the ideas. I liked the idea of feathers um, in my tree. I saw a different YouTuber do this, and I can't remember who. Anyway, I like the idea of feathers. I thought it was really cute, and it was like a different spin on just regular like tinsel garland or whatever. Anyway, it didn't really work out because I had to get so many rolls and this tree is so big that it was like one roll was just like one time around and they were pretty delicate. And anyway, tossed those at the end of Mishmas last year and I'm just gonna keep it simple this year. So we've got the tree. I have just a few other pieces of decor. I'm not a big, I'm not a big decoration person. I feel like maybe this year I'm sensing <laughs> that if we do end up going out to like at home or home goods or whatever, I'll end up picking up things if I see things that look kind of appropriate or whatever, or things that I like. But um, yeah, I just don't have, I just don't have a lot. I'm that person that thinks of the fact that it's only gonna be up for like a month and then I gotta take it all down. <laughs> it just doesn't seem worth it. Okay, I'm lazy. 
I'll just say it. I'm lazy in regards to holiday decoration. Um, but that's what we're going to do today. So if it takes a little bit longer than a day, that's fine. Uh, the tree usually takes quite a bit of energy out of me. <laughs> Um, but we'll, we'll do it all today. So that'll be Mishmas day one. So I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get to these advent calendars and let's get to putting up this tree. Okay. Let's start with Joe Malone. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Let me take off the ribbon here. I haven't even taken a peek. You guys, I've been really, really good. And so just like last year, we've got a flap at the top, Ooh, a flap at the top and then a drawer at the bottom. I'm going to start by opening the flap. Look, the boxes, they're all different this year. Oh, I love this. The candy cane stripe and the gingerbread icing design. Oh, that's so, so sweet. I love that. All right, one is right up here. Oops. Oh, it's a little booklet. And we've got, oh my God, the ginger biscuit cologne. Get out. I have the ginger biscuit candle and it is such a delight. It is perfect for the season. Ooh, this smells like, um, like a deeper, a little bit more uh, serious version of the candle. The candle is like very, very sweet and very gourmand. Ooh, that is so nice. Oh, this booklet is a spoiler alert, by the way. So this basically sh uh, tells us what is in all the boxes. We're not gonna look, cause we don't do that. But that was number one. Next, let's do the decorte. So this is the top of the box. And then it opens. Look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is gorgeous. Do you see the silver foiling? Oh, it's beautiful. All right, let's find number one. It is right in front of me. Okay, I'm just gonna lay it flat because I feel like holding it up is just asking for trouble. So here is number one. It looks like I have to open up these two sides and fold it back. Ooh, we have skincare. We have the Decorte Liposome Advanced. So this is a repair serum. Ooh, I really like the Decorte skincare. I love their makeup too, but their skincare is quite special. Ooh, that's lovely. Next, we have the YSL advent calendar. Look at this beautiful golden snowflake. I love it so much. So we've got drawers in this one. One is all the way up here. Let's see what we have. Ooh, is this a little lipstick? It's a little lipstick. Ooh, look at that beautiful nude shade. You guys know I love that. Wow, love this and love this like packaging. It's so beautiful. Next we have the Sisley advent calendar. Same idea, kind of flaps open. Look at how interesting the artwork is in here. It's all like um, needlepoint. Isn't that so cool? I think that's so different for Sisley. It's so, I think it's so festive. I think it's really, really beautiful. Okay, let's check out number one. Ugh, of course they kick it off right with the Black Rose Cream Mask. We know this is one of their like cult classic hero products. Oh, this is so great. And last but certainly not least, the Diptyque Advent Calendar. Now the style of packaging is the same. It's been this sort of uh, flap open and then these swing open. It's been like this, I think for as long as I've been getting these advent calendars. So definitely like the third year in a row. Um, but the artwork on it always changes. So this is really interesting. I like all of this text. It's actually very beautiful. Uh, so looking for number one, which is right here. What have we got? Oh, little votive uh, of the fig. This is amazing. I probably have like 10 of these at this point, but Never enough. You can never have enough diptych candles. Well, we are off and running. I cannot believe, <laughs> I can't believe it's Mishmas. So we've got the advent calendars out of the way. I'm gonna put on some makeup. I'm just putting on some of the Tom, I almost said Tom Rose. The Tom for, Tom for, wow. Welcome to Mishmas. <laughs> this is the Tom Ford Rose Lip Oil Tint. And so this is, if you can believe, my fifth year doing this. 
And my very first Mishmas, I remember I didn't do much vlogging at all because I wasn't vlogging that much. But I thought, you know what? I think it'll be a fun kind of challenge to try and get a video up every day for, I think at that point I was doing the entire month of uh, December. And I think I did that for two years. And then I, it, it's just a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's a lot. And so I, uh, kind of downshifted and just said, I'm going to do it for, um, like through Christmas. So this will be, I believe my third year doing it just through Christmas, which, um, it's still crazy. <laughs> it's still crazy. I always question my life choices when I'm done, but it really is, uh, just a great way to connect with you guys. I do love the holiday season, you know, growing up, this wasn't that big of a thing in my house. Um, you know, we tried to celebrate like everyone else, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like a Walton's kind of Christmas. So, um, I'm just trying to create a little tradition here on my channel. So like I said, we'll have a nice variety of content of style of content. I have a lot of friends visiting, of course. <laughs> so I have my friends, Matthew and Mark coming to stay, uh, for basically, uh, they're here. So uh, like the beginning of December and uh, they're the ones that I visit when I go to the lake house in, in New York, in Greenwood Lake, that's their house. So Matthew and Marky will be here. Um, and then I have my friend Laura coming in less than a week and she's basically here to help me. So <laughs> she um, is just gonna help me just sort of like manage my life. We were trying to figure out like, should she come before? Like what was the right time for her to come? And I figured, why don't you come in the middle of Mishmas? Because that's when I'm really like losing my mind. So she's coming then she's like, I'll do whatever. She's my friend that made me my birthday cake. She's like, I'll go food shopping. I'll cook for you. Like whatever it is that you need. So she's coming, um, for like five or six days. And then, you know, I have a smattering of dinners to go out to. There's a whole bunch of new restaurants that opened up in Vegas. So I'm really, really excited to take you along to those dinners and we'll see what else happens. I feel like I try and plan as much of Mishmas as I can, but things always pop up. Um, events always pop up or like I'll get an idea for like a good video in the middle of the month or whatever. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We're going to keep it light. We're gonna keep keep ourselves light on our feet this time. So yeah, I am just putting on a little bit of makeup because I feel like I need to. Um, I'm gonna use some concealer. I just use the Dr. Jart Prim. It's still my favorite. You know when I do my uh, yearly roundup like favorites, you know that's gonna be there. You just know it. You know what? I'm gonna skip concealer because what we're gonna be doing today does not actually require any makeup, but I just felt like putting some on for you guys. <laughs> I was like, let's, let's get Mishmas off on the right foot. Let me put on a little bit of makeup. So I'm just using the Dior uh, Rouge Blush in Charnel. Okay. I'm moving over to the Cure Weiss Signature Glow Palette. I love this cream highlight, this right here. It is rose gold and it is gorgeous. I am going to put on some of the Persona Brow Gel. And then I think I may just leave my eyes alone. Maybe I'll, I'll curl my lashes and add a little mascara. Why don't we do that? The Lancome Lash Idol. Who's been with me and who's been watching me since I first started doing YouTube where I never wore mascara? I never did until I started doing YouTube videos. It just wasn't something my mom ever wore, she never showed it to me. I just never got into it. I wore very minimal makeup <laughs> and, and now I feel like I can put mascara on and nothing else. I've turned into that person. Okay, so I'm pretty much done because I just want to get to uh, this tree situation. Also, before I forget, this is that Lily Silk cashmere top that has the detachable hood. So I've been wearing it with the hood, but today I was like, let me try, what is it like detached? And I love it. I love it. It's like such a beautiful crew neck and it's so soft, so very soft. All right, let's go grab my tree out of the closet. Okay, I just rolled this guy out and then it has two additional pieces that go on top. I forgot how tall this tree was. I was too embarrassed to show you what was in that closet. It's crazy in there. Um, so yeah, I just rolled it out. It, my tree is on wheels and we're just gonna roll it into 
the family room where I have the TV. Okay, tree has been rolled in. It's one of those that's on wheels and you just flip it up and then I have to throw those pieces on top. Wish me luck. All the lights are on. Now, I know you're supposed to put this on last, but I'm gonna put this on now since I have a ladder out. Oh, sorry, I don't think I was recording. Well, I just put the star up there. <laughs> the star up there. I still have to plug it in. My God, I'm sweating. Um, she's a little crooked, but I just couldn't, it's hard to maneuver this ladder around the lower branches, which are so much wider. I, I felt like I couldn't get close enough. Anyway, and then the ladder kind of teetered, so I was like, oh, let me come down. And then maybe I'll fix it a little bit later. Yeah, she's a little crooked. Okay, I had to put my hair up because I was just sweating like a pig. All right, let's do the ornaments. <laughs> I'm gonna do as much as I can today. And, you know, I came back into this room and the star is starting, <laughs> the star is like slowly tilting over. So we'll fix that, we'll fix that, okay. So I have my ornaments all stored in this uh, container system that I got last year through Amazon. So let's go through this. So if you guys were here last year, you'll remember that I got like this mulberry purple and green colored ornament motif going on and I really, really liked it. It wasn't super bright. It's not like, I don't know, like gold and champagne and white ornaments that like just light up the tree. Um, but I really kind of liked my tree. I wouldn't say it looked melancholy, but it just looked, I don't know, it just wasn't as like blindingly bright as a lot of Christmas trees are. So um, yeah, <laughs> I was thinking last year, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get brighter ones next year. You know what? I just really like these. I like the, the color story of this like dark, like black tinged purple with the green. I just think this is such a pretty combination. So yeah, we're gonna stick with that this year. The tree is decorated. It's very minimal, but I kind of like it. And the lights work and the star is on. We are all set. 
All right, so I have some special ornaments that I have to put on the tree. Let me dig those out. So I have just a few. I have this one from a wonderful subscriber. This is like a porcelain one of Miss Butters. And then this one was sent to me from a friend in New York. Isn't that beautiful? I think it lights up. Ah, there it goes. Oh, I love that. And then I have a bunch from previous Diptyque um, advent calendars. I have one from Joe Malone. I think this was from the advent calendar uh, last year. Yeah, so let's put these on. So I think I am done decorating for the moment. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to resume tomorrow morning and do the stockings and set up the pillow and set up like the little trees that I have or whatever, but that took a lot out of me. <laughs> that was a big deal. That took a lot out of me. So anyway, I'm done for this evening. We will resume tomorrow morning. Well, good morning. Welcome to part two of Mishmas Day One. We're gonna finish decorating today. So I think I showed you in, well, it was a video. Oh, I think it was my video right before Thanksgiving. Anyway, I had gotten these pillows at Costco. Aren't they cute? I like these like flocked and decorated trees. And this is like a really comfy chenille. This is like a velvet on the back. I got two of these pillows. So I'm going to put one on this couch and then right across from that couch is Miss Butter, <laughs> Miss Butters, and I'm gonna put one on this couch. But I need to move this Chanel pillow and blanket set. I'm gonna move that over into the uh, like living room. So I'm gonna do that right now. favorite, but it's better than <laughs> mixing it up with the Christmas tree pillows because that really, that didn't really work at all. I'm going to cut these giant tags off of these pillows and put them on the couch. I think I would really like some other pillows, but I really, there aren't a lot of like holiday themed, like square size, like Chanel size pillows that I have found. But if I do find any over the course of Mishmas, I will get them because I'm gonna put these right onto like the center of the couch. And I think it'll be really nice to have two like uh, throw pillows on each couch. All right, one here. I think it'd be really nice to have like two, I don't know, just like solid velvet, maybe like cranberry colored pillows right there. Or is that too traditional? I'm not sure, okay. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. I haven't gone to any of the regular haunts for holiday decor, um, like at home or home goods or anything like that, but I bet they have a ton of throw pillows that may work. Okay, pillows are set out, wow, I look crazy. I just got back from Pilates, <laughs> uh, which only partially explains my appearance. I really, I look really nuts. Okay, now stockings. So I have these three stockings. I've been wanting to get them embroidered with like our names on there. I just haven't, I just haven't bothered. And then I have these stocking hangers, these pine cone ones. I really love these. I think they're so cute. So back over to the living room. these three Chanel snow globes to the windowsill back here. I think that would be cute. They're a little bit 
hidden by the couch, but I kind of like that. They're like a little surprise when you walk up towards the window. All right, the stockings are hung by the chimney with care. <laughs> and now I have these like three very random <laughs> little fake trees. I think I got this initially to put in my background during Mishmas. I may do that this year as well because I just have my brushes back there and that's just, it's so boring to look at. Yeah, so maybe I'll do that. So where should I put these little guys? These are so teeny tiny, but they're really cute. Oh, maybe on the fireplace, let's see. We could put them like between the pine cones. What do we think of that? That's cute. Okay, I'll leave them there, at least for now. And then I have this console table in uh, my hallway. And maybe what I'll do is move that white vase back to my dining table and put the, the bigger green tree there. Green tree, the evergreen, <laughs> the pine tree. Um, yeah, because in my filming area, it's just not, it's not set up that you can see much of my background anymore, not like in my old apartment. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. My ceilings are so high. Everything looks so teeny tiny. <laughs> I think it looks okay. Maybe if I put some lights on it or something. Well, I'll leave it there for now. And maybe I'll move it into my filming area and see if I can move my camera around so you can see my background. Well, that's all the decor I have <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> so that concludes Mishmas day one. Yay, I'm so excited. You guys, I'm so excited that you're here. I'm so excited to be doing Mishmas this year. It's really been such a wonderful year and I love concluding on this note. So thank you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow for Mishmas Day 2. Mm -hmm.